section to, to get us underway. Um, if you'd like to ask a question, please raise your hand. We'll try and get through as many as possible. Um, and we'll start with Paul Gilmore at Sky. Why, why do you feel this is the right opportunity for you to return to management? And given the Tottenham links, did you have to think long and hard about coming here? Well, it was one year waiting. First of all, thank you for your welcome. Hope that you will be nice with me because it's not compulsory this uh, press conference and, you know, I can stand up and go, you know, away. Uh, not because it's true, it's not compulsory. True or not, Charlie? That's yeah. true. <laughs> and now because we are nice people yes. and we give the, the first press conference. No, I am so proud to be here. Thank you for your welcome. Uh, um, I think it's a great opportunity for me to be back in the Premier League, for me the, the best league in, in the world. And of course, um, I think Chelsea convinced me to, to, to be here. Um, of course, Chelsea is a great team, and you know very well. In the last 10, 12 years, I've seen uh, men and women uh, the greatest history. In, in the last 10, 12, 15 years, uh, won uh, many, many, many uh, trophies. And I think it's a great team. I am so proud to be here. I am very proud about my past. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to talk in a different way. But now I need to look uh, forward. I need to be, you know, concentrate in what uh, the people expect from me in this, uh, in this football club. And I hope to build a very good relationship with, uh, of course, with everyone. First of all, uh, we need to, to be right and to be clever in the way that we are going to settle everything for the, for the next uh, few weeks, uh, to start to compete, uh, to be right in our decisions, and, and to create a very competitive team because Premier League is really tough. And of course, um, what I found in the, in the club from, the, from Monday, that they start to work is a really, um, really very good people with really good attitude. Um, I am so happy, uh, so far so good, and, uh, and hope to, to keep this feeling for the, for the rest of the season. How close are you to having a squad that is ready to win? And what identity can we expect from a Maurizio Pochettino Chelsea team this season? Well, I think it's, uh, we are working really hard now. And I really trust. I really trust in, in this football club, in the history. And I really trust in Paul and Lawrence and the owner that are going to provide all the tools to be competitive. And, and of course, uh, what I need to do is to coach uh, not only the player, if not the staff, to, um, I think, to guide them to try to achieve what we expect and our fans uh, will expect. I'm not going to talk about the past. The past is in the past. Um, only, I only want to be focused and all the people in uh, Chelsea training ground and Stafford Bridge and then our fans need to think only in to be positive uh, and, uh, and try to really believe that all together we can, we can create a very good journey. I know there were some questions about last season, the leadership in the team. Have you sensed that so far, and, and how do you address that if it, if it is an issue? Uh, look, for me, every single season, the, not, not only the player, uh, also the staff and the, um, and the people and the fans uh, have the capacity to move on quick. In football, you need to move on quick. If not, you know, uh, uh, you, are, you are dead. And of course, um, what I found uh, from the day one is true that the, the squad is not all the squad uh, yet, but I think uh, all the players were very open. Um, the attitude is amazing. Of course, we have the quality. We are going to add more quality. And of course, uh, I am so excited to, to be here. And, and of course, um, I don't think what happened in the past. I, I think the past is in the past. Of course, it's, uh, it's not too far away, but I think when you finish the season, you need to move on and start to think in the future. And it's no point to, to, to look backward and, and see what is going on in the past. Um, I think I am so positive person that um, I always can see the positive things. Mason Mount said this week that once it became clear he wasn't in Chelsea's plans, it, it was a good move for him to Manchester United. 
did you have any say in that? Would you have liked to have had him as part of your squad? No, I think we cannot talk. I think when we need to, when I was, I was talking about the future, it's about to talk about the, the players that are here and the players that maybe we can add to the, to the, to the squad. He's a Manchester United player now. Uh, for sure, uh, he loved the club, and, but I don't know what happened in the past, and I don't want to talk about that. I think we need to be focused now in what we expect for our player, the player that uh, are really committed with the club to uh, move on and to try to build a, a very nice journey and, and try to pro provide the team and the club the, what we on there with the service is to lift trophies and that is about to win here is a club that is only talk about to win. Alex, how you? I'm Rizzo. Welcome I back to the Premier League. What do you believe is a successful season for Chelsea? What are your targets at this stage? My target is to, is to win. My aim is, is to win. Is if you are in a football club like Chelsea, you cannot talk about to to do a nice job and to play well. Uh, is is of course <laughs> do a, a good job play well because this is uh, it's our uh, style and philosophy and culture, but of course to win. Uh, if you don't win uh, in a club like Chelsea, for sure you are going to struggle. Um, I don't want to put excuse, I don't want to talk about the past and what is going on. It's only that we need to, you know, to bring uh, players and with the players that uh, we have um, to, to start to believe that from the day one that we start to work in uh, Monday, that is about to win. It's about to be competitive and to be the best. And for that, we need to work hard. We are working really hard with the players that we have. And then to translate um, this energy to, the, to the, our fans and to for sure help us to, to win the games. That is, is so important that to create that togetherness, you know, to, to try to achieve uh, that dif with a difficult thing because here in Premier League is really tough. The competition is many, many clubs that won the same than us. But I, I think if we are all together, we can be close to, to win again. We know that the owners here are very hands-on. How much of a say have you had so far in the buying and selling of players? Sorry, I didn't understand. The, the owners are very involved here. They get very involved. So how much of an input have you had in the buying and selling of players? Well, no, I think it's better if I maybe clarify the situation. I think uh, when um, we met for the first time and then uh, when we uh, agreed to start the 1st of July to work, um, that was on the end of the May. I think they present uh, Lawrence, Paul, and the, and the owner present the, the, the plan strategic for, for the squad. And of course, uh, they asked me to start the 1st of July. Uh, I was agreed, I started to work. And of course, they showed me the, the strategic plan and, 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 and I was agreed also. And of course, they start to work, uh, work and the club uh, they start to work, the club start to work. I didn't, but the, the club start to work and I think he's doing a fantastic job. Um, I think I am happy and, and of course, he uh, continues to work in this way uh, with the plan that they, they create. And of course, from now, uh, from the 1st of July, uh, that I, I'm going to, now more, more involved, of course, I'm going to work with them and to shash and to try to take the decision and of course, uh, with Paul and Lores more closely working, you know, to take in all the decisions for the best of the of the football club. You like the plan? If I like. You like the plan when they showed it to you? Well, was the plan that, that when they, you know, uh, they present to me when they um, were talking and many circumstances, you know, going on, different situation, personal situation, you know, things to care about that I wasn't informed or I didn't know because it's obvious I was outside of the football club. That is why I trust on them. I said, you know better than me. From the day one, the 1st of July, I will be involved also. And of course now, uh, I don't say that they are going to take all the decision, but I think it's, it's going to be easy to take together the, the best decision for, for Chelsea. Just finally, Levi and Noni playing in the European Under-21 yes. Championship Finals tomorrow. Have you had a chance to speak with either of them about the role yes. they might play next year? Yes, season? we spoke yesterday with Levi and, and, and Noni. One, I know Noni from, from uh, Tottenham. He was in, in the Under-18. Um, and of course, uh, Levi, I didn't know, but I introduced myself with him. I, I wish 
all the best uh, for tomorrow. It's true that for me it's difficult because Spain, uh, Spain, England, but I wish all the best and I think we are waiting for them to uh, be with the team. The, the, the day, I think the day that we will fly to, to America, they will join us. Arifa? Welcome back. Thank um, you. Thank you. Um, Mauricio, when you first came to England, you were the first manager to inflict defeat on Pep Guardiola. You're resuming the Premier League rivalry again. You beat him at every match at the Tottenham Stadium and White Hart Lane. Are they unbeatable? Is he unchallengeable now he has won the treble? Or is that an example of backing a manager for a long time that you can achieve it all? Yes, I think it's a really, really... I want to congratulate Pep, of course. Uh, all that they are, uh, they are achieving and Pep uh, with Manchester City is unbelievable. But that uh, is, uh, you know, it's, um, it's amazing to see how uh, a club, no, that worked for many years uh, with the stability and giving the, you know, the, the, the tools and the resources to, to the coach uh, to do the job that he's, he's doing. No? And I think it's, uh, it's a fantastic, you know, uh, football club also, Manchester City. I think now when I said Monday in an interview with Chelsea TV, I said it's Chelsea and, you know, in the last 10, 12, 15 years, uh, similar uh, achievement. Uh, and I think I, I think I was right. Um, but yes, yes. Uh, but now I think we need to believe also that we can create uh, good, good things. And uh, it's going to be tough, but we need to believe that we can compete with a club like uh, a team like Manchester City. You know what the passion is like here at Stamford Bridge. We all remember the battle <laughs> of the bridge. It was iconic and one of the great rivalries in recent Premier League eras. What's your message to the fans and what do you expect here? And Mourinho came here on his first stint as manager and called himself the special one. What will you call yourself? No, I think uh, I am not thinking on that. You know, what I want to do is to provide and to give uh, the people that trust in me, the, the owners and the sporting director, Bonal Lawrence, to uh, everything that they can do. Um, I know, I know that I need to build a relationship with the, with the fans. Uh, of course, they know me because my past, but I, now I am fully committed uh, with, uh, with Chelsea. And uh, I know that it's going to depend on how we are going to approach the game. I think the team needs to be aggressive, need to you know, translate uh, the, the, the message to the fans, and the fans need to engage with the, with the idea and the, you know, and the philosophy. And, and, and I think if we are capable to create something special and, and our fans can feel that, I think it's going to be easy to, to be in the same direction. And, and of course, uh, I repeat again, I think we can win. If we really believe and we are all together, I think that we can build something that we can compete and try to beat this uh, amazing team that was uh, uh, Manchester City, Liverpool, and, and different clubs you know, that they are in the, in the top. Alexis Munoz. Mauricio, welcome back. Um, Thank you. Just wondering, what, how does it make you feel now you come back to what you said is the best league in the world and seeing your fellow Argentinos doing so well, like Julian, Alexis, Enzo, and, and what are you looking forward to the most about working closely now every day with Enzo after the World Cup? No, of course, it's a, it's a pleasure, and I feel very proud of, about him and about our national team and all the players that... Uh, Give, uh, gave uh, uh, the third uh, World Cup to, to Argentina. Yes, I am so, so excited. I hope that we can win together uh, many trophy here. John Southall. Richard, how are you? Hello. Um, what do you think the biggest challenges you face here? To be honest, I, I, I still not trying to think in, in, in how many challenges or the, the most difficult challenge. For me, it's clear that now... Uh, the most important or the priority is to finish the squad, uh, to have a very balanced squad. Um, I think the club in the, in the, in the plan was uh, reduce also uh, the numbers of uh, players. 
And I think that for me is, is the most important thing is to find the, the right profiles, the, the player that we are going to add, and, and of course, to try to create a good dynamic, um, first of all, on the training session, on the training ground, and with all the staff, and, and try to start to work really well uh, in between together. Sorting out the squad is probably quite a big, big job and quite a big challenge. Do you think you're going to need to ask the, the fans and the club for a bit of patience? Because it, you know, it could be quite a long process to try and get this right. Is that fair? Look, um, I know in football, no patience. Uh, in football, it's difficult to wait. And, and then when you are here in Chelsea, I think it's not about to ask for time. You need to deliver it from the day one. I think that is why uh, we are how we are working now in the training ground is, is not uh, uh, to give too many time to the player to think, to, uh, to spend time, to waste in time. It's about to deliver it from now uh, or to give our best, uh, to put in the service of the, of the team. Um, ah, football is about, is about today or yesterday. We cannot talk too much uh, long term. Um, we cannot tell the, the people that we, we need six months and to create something because, you know, um, I think it's not good. We need to create the belief from the beginning, and I think we have players and we are going to have a squad, a player that can deliver the job, can give what we expect, and from the day one we need uh, to think in, in to win. And then if we don't win, and maybe we, little by little, or we need more time to develop our idea. Maybe it's possible that after we will um, uh, tell you, but I think from the beginning we need to think in the first game of the Premier League, we need to be ready to, to beat uh, Liverpool. That is the idea. Okay, then we're gonna go to Alison Bender. Oh, sorry. Hi Mauricio, Hi. great to have you back. Thank you. Um, when you were having those negotiations with the club, there, it was uh, a lot of people were saying you wanted reassurances that you would have power or you wanted players. There was lots of speculation. Can you tell us what those kind of discussions were like? And I wonder if, if there was any sort of doubt in your mind. We've seen some great managers really struggle here at this football club. Did you worry that it might be, be damaging at all for you as a manager? No, I think it was really nice conversations. Uh, the first conversation were with Paul and Lawrence, with the sporting director. Uh, the first conversation was about, I can maybe uh, be a little bit, you know, uh, transparent. Yep. A little bit or? A little. Okay. You, can, you can be very transparent if you like. <laughs> no, uh, first meeting was by Zoom and I said, I need to know if I need to convince you or you need to convince me. Because if I need to convince you, give me five times that I'm going to put nice chair, I'm going to uh, Brush your hair. Uh, shower and everything after <laughs> shave, because if not, no, but it was by soon, no, we start to laugh. I think it was a nice conversation from the beginning and, and of course they were very honest with me and they showed the, the plan, they showed everything, all that the good and not so good things that uh, need to happen before 1st of July, and then after 1st of July. And of course, uh, I listened to them, and then I spoke with the, with the owners and in a really good way. I think they are clever people, and in football always it's about to be clever and, and learn from the, from the past and the experience. And I think, yes, I feel good. That is, I, I am not a person, I am not a coach that I need to ask for power. I don't need to ask for, in my contract, to put some uh, clause that, you know, I need to do this or I need to do that or the, the club need to. No, I think the most important that is I need to show, first of all, to them that trust in me and the player and then, of course, the fans that they can trust in my decision. They can trust in the way that we are going to operate, in the way that we are going to take decision. When we analyze and we, we judge all the situation, they need to really believe, and that is my, my job. One of the challenges when, when you ask me about, which is my uh, uh, bigger challenge is to create a team, but also is that the people trust in my judgment, you know. It's not only to say, okay, we signed this coach, 
and then I don't know is it the right to take this decision for this advice or to you know different. I think for me is that I need to convince them that they can trust. That is the biggest power that you can have and reassure you know and they, they can trust and they um, allow to me to work in the way that, that we want. But th in the same time with all the staff and the people, I think we need to create our own, you know, uh, idea, philosophy, and the way to work and to take decision because every single club is different. Okay, we'll go to Alex Crook, TalkSport. Hi, Mauricio. Hello, Hello. Corey. It feels like a long time since you last managed in the Premier League. Do you feel like you're a better manager now? By far, by you? far much better. By far much better because the experience uh, provides you um, better no? understanding about about everything, not only the knowledge about the, the game, if not all that, how you, you need to behave also outside, on and off the, the pitch. And I think for sure I am much better, uh, much better coach, much, much better also person, for sure, um, after my, my experience uh, our, uh, outside of the Premier League. Sorry? Do you feel you have a point to prove back in the Premier League? You need to prove yourself again? O always. I think this is, is this our motivation, our, our challenge, no? I think every day we are exigent and, and we try to prove that we are right. That is part of our nature. We are competitive and always we want to be better, for sure. For sure, yes. For sure, yes. Okay, Roman Osman. Hi, Mauricio. Welcome Hi. back. Can Thank I you. ask you, when you were officially offered the job, did you take time to consult your family and friends, given, given how Tottenham and, and Chelsea are? Of course, I have my close people that always try to see the different opinion and, and vision. Uh, I think it's Things happen, and this time I, th I was more focusing, you know, in the project for the future, future, future Monday, you know, that was they were telling me about. To, but I don't think too much. It's true that I don't think too much. Um, I think it was for me a great opportunity uh, to join a, a really great club, and then to come back to the Premier League. I think every single box, you tick every, every single box. And then okay. finally for me, um, on, on your captain, on, on your, you've been with the team since Monday and um, Aspilicueta is gone. Do you have an idea who you would want to be your next leader in the dressing room already? The, the next captain? Well, first of all, we need to close the, the squad and then I, I need to not know all the players to have a decision. I think I need to feel the players, I need to feel the commitment, I need to feel the, 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 um, uh, the character, personality. One thing is from outside, another when you are working with them for positive and not so positive, you know? And first of all, uh, we need to close the, squ the squad and, and then we have many players that have experience and then we will decide. Okay, we've got time for two more questions. We'll go Nizar Kinsella and we'll finish with Simon Johnson. Welcome, Maurizio. Um, ten players left this summer, about ten players have left Chelsea. So does it feel like a fresh start and almost a new team that you're building up from scratch here? I don't understand the question, really. Um, it's uh, it's uh, about ten players out. Ten players out. Do you feel like you're building a new team from scratch? Is it, is it almost like the beginning, not just for you, but for Chelsea as a whole? Well, I think when... Um, when I was outside and, and didn't know nothing about Chelsea, I think I was hearing different type of people that was, in, uh, you know, uh, giving opinion about that it was the too, too big the squad and many things. And of course, always is, uh, I feel that it's, a, a, for me, a fresh start with, with all the players, you know, with the players that work here and, and <coughs> players that is going to come. Um, Yes, I don't think too much on, on that. I think it always happen in all football clubs that sometimes uh, people uh, people in, people out, you know. Um, yes, yeah, sometimes in some period that maybe uh, uh, like was the squad, really, really big squad last season, 
and it's normally that the club trying to, you know, uh, to reduce the number of, of players. But for me, it's not a, a big issue. You know, it's not a big problem to for the future of the the, 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 the next, uh, you know, few few months. Simon Johnson. Hi, Mauricio. Um, in terms of players that could be leaving, um, do you expect Romelu Lukaku to, to come back for pre-season training at all, or, or is, has that decision already been made? No, I think it's, uh, all is is uh, every uh, all the uh, the situation, personal situation, uh, all the part knows uh, what we we think, and uh, I think uh, in that case he need to to come back. Uh, I think the 12th or the 13th for uh, be part of again to the to the squad and start the the pre-season. In okay. that case, uh, you, you asked me about. Uh, the player, no? Yeah. Yes. Do you expect Do you expect him to, to come? Have you had that kind of conversation yet? Well, of course, like uh, with all the players. Eh? When the player mm. arrives, first thing that they are doing is to come to my office to see me and say hello. And that is why I expect if he's a still Chelsea player, the same than the another, straight to to my to my office. And okay. And Simon, sorry, that's two questions there. We'll end it there, guys. Thank you very much. Cameras off, please. Thank you. Okay. Um, if you want to go. Thank you.